Hello everyone, this is Andrew McNair from Swan Capital with our informational economic update for July 2019. In this month's video, we want to discuss some major headlines that influence June stock prices, but also provide you perspective on what it actually means for you over the months ahead. Please stay tuned at the end of this video for some required disclosure statements. So after a disappointing May, U.S. stock markets roared back in June. The S&P 500 picked up nearly 7%, the Dow 7.2%, and the Nasdaq almost 7.5%. The S&P 500 actually reached a record high, and the Dow and the Nasdaq were just a whisper from their historical peaks. So what really fueled this rally? Really two factors. The first is optimism over a potential interest rate cut by the Federal Reserve and a growing belief that the US and China are actively trying to resolve their trade disputes. Now stock prices opened the month lower but soon climbed on hopes that the Fed could cut the short term interest rates. News that the US would not impose further tariffs on Mexico imports also continued to help this rally. Stocks lost a bit of momentum, though, due to this escalating tension in the Middle East, but only to rise again after President Trump's positive phone call with China's president. Wall Street, however, finished the month mixed as all eyes started to turn to the G20 summit. While markets applaud the progress on trade, attention in June shifted to the Federal Reserve and what's next for short-term interest rates. Now, the Fed kept the federal funds rate unchanged at its June two-day meeting, followed by really a dovish statement indicating that it would take appropriate action to sustain the economic growth. See, if it lowers interest rates, this could continue the economic expansion that we're seeing. Now, since markets have already assumed a future rate cut, it's inevitable the potential for volatility may increase if the Fed continues to hold steady on rates and not drop interest rates. That's why this month at Swan Capital, we'll be watching the Fed closely for any signals that it may send investors. Now, remember, the market's recent rise has been partially driven by the anticipation of future interest rate cuts. If the Fed were to suggest that the rate adjustment is not the immediate fix, the market may find itself really repricing stocks to reflect these changing expectations. That's it for this month's informational economic update. Once again, this is Andrew McNair signing off for the month of July 2019.